Y'all want to watch me put together my new Centro from Timu? Check it out. Okay, here is my Centro knitting machine that I got from Timu. And I promised you guys a video of how to put it together. So I'm just gonna wing it. I've watched a few videos and hold on one sec. Okay. We got this taped up. All right, here we go. Can you see it? All right, I'm gonna bring you guys in a little bit. Oh, manually. <coughs> I'll try to zoom in and out of this video as the morning progresses. All right, so this is some packing stuff. I don't see any directions. And I brought some scrap yarn. It says you can make a hat, scarf, and a knitted hat. It's got tight, modern, and loose settings. It's got, let's see, tight, this is a tension guard, moderate tension guard, and a loose tension guard. And here it is, right there on the machine. Um, a panel, it can do two modes. It's got a little switch on the side, right here. You can either do panel or tube. It's got a T for tube, P for panel. Uh, use control to tighten your yarn, your tension. They say tension's key about these machines. And there's some yarn that they totally do not like. So I've watched several videos. So let's get started. Let's get this baby together. All right. Here's the legs. Hold on. I know you don't want to hear that noise. Okay. I took everything out of the box. And you got 40 needles. Let's make sure all of them are, there's, there's the beginning, the black needle. Make sure everything has a needle coming out of it. Yep, yep, yep. Sounds pretty quiet. And this table is glass. The reason I'm using it is because there's suction cups that can, so it'll stick to the table, so. Let's turn it over. Well, before I do that, here are the legs. It comes with uh, a sewing, plastic sewing needle. It comes with um, plastic knitting needles. And it has a plastic crochet, crochet hook. All right, and then it comes with a screwdriver, which is, it's a nice screwdriver, a Phillips head. You know how many times I've looked for a tiny Phillips head screwdriver? So we've got all those. And then this is the tension gadget and it's got three different settings. And then it comes with three little things of yarn. I'll use this for my, um, you need to have um, yarn to start your project. You can discard, I forgot what it's called. And also at the end, so. Zeus, Zeus, he's got to check it out. Do you approve? Okay, let's get the legs on this bad boy. This is the directions. Not much. It shows how to put the legs on and how to put the suction on. And that's it. Oh, here's the suction. And they, they have little screws for the Phillips screwdriver. So let's go ahead and let's snap in the legs. There's leg one, and the screws are for the legs, not the suction. What do I do with those scissors? I need to, let me turn on some lights. Okay, it comes with two darning needles. I just found a large one, and a, it comes with a smaller one. So, I guess that's for thick projects. So, I'm gonna move all this stuff over to the side. This table's not very big. It's just a coffee table that I refurbished. It was brown and I, I call this faux painting where I use that, um, 
like a chalk paint, almost like you can get in the crafts department in Walmart. And I just wiped this gray on top of it, just to give it and uh, to give it kind of a um, distressed look, I guess. But I was into that a while ago. I'm not in. I'm not doing any of that right now. I'm into crocheting and yarn. So I got one leg on, two leg on, three leg on, four leg on. Now I got to get the screws. Now, I do have an Addy. And, um, I know I never use it. Okay, I got two legs on. I thought I could put the screw in first and it would slide in, but no, there's too many other parts going in the machine. to do about five rows with your the yarn that you're going to discard so so far so good nice it's a nice tight stitch all right y'all I'm gonna try something different I'm 
making a brim for the hat. I don't know if it's gonna work out, but we're definitely gonna check it out and see if it does. Look. All right, I'm winging it, guys. So bear with me here. Let's see if I can do this right. So this is the hat. I need to put a pom-pom on it and it's got a brim on it, okay? I need to sew. I still have the waist yarn right here because I, if I'm afraid I'm gonna undo it. I don't know enough, but, but once I figure out how to, how to sew that on, I'm sure one of you guys will tell me I gotta go in and out. I don't know, but it's still a hat. Hey, first time's a charm, right? No, that's the third time's a charm. <laughs> so, that's me and my new Centro. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Okay, real quick, what do y'all think about my hat? I made it seven inches long, so I would probably only make it six, right? Let's see. It's 10. I made it 10. Eight, no, eight and a half. So probably six. Yeah, six would have been perfect. Would have been snug. Because there's, you know, ease. But um, this is the first hat. Now, this is not a tutorial. I just, I received the Centro free. Um, for doing videos, uh, sharing uh, Timu, some of their um, their products, and they gave me this free at the center, and I wanted to try it out. And so I was just showing you how I put it together and kind of how I did things. But this is really not a tutorial. I don't know enough to do a tutorial to teach you guys. This is just sharing. But um, uh, Darla, the crafty yarn owl with Darla. She um, has a tutorial on how to use the Centro. Now, a technique I did use was, is you guys saw I used waist yarn to do this band. What I did was I did about this much of the band and then I folded it, I put each stitch on one of the needles and it gave it a brim. And I used waist yarn and I didn't need to, actually. It, it sewed it to it. And which, so when you, when you start your hat, you know, however thick you want the band, see the band is right there, but I figured the stitches are really tight with this number 40, but I kept kind of a snug tension the whole time, made it a little too long, but I really like this yarn. It's, um, Mer Woods by Premier. I've had it forever and Miss, uh, Susie Q got a hold of it. It's called Forget Me Not, but very pretty. And I like the hat. I had fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Then again, I will link 
Darla, the Crafty Yarn Owl. I'll link her channel down below. So if you want to do a tutorial and also this Centro here, let me see if I can get it off the table. It's sucked, sucked to the table. So yeah, glass table, they're perfect. These little suction cups work perfect. But yeah, they, they have a, a 48 needle one. I think it's like $9 more. So, I mean, you can't beat it. You, you save money free shipping. So, um, yep, it's called a Centro 40 needle. They're about, they run about $35, 36 at the most. Um, but I had fun and they have smaller ones. So I might ask Timo if they'll send me a couple of the other ones and I'll share putting it together and using it. So, hey, Miss Susie Q. Oh, there she goes with her daddy. What are you doing? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. There she is. She's growing. You smell like chicken. You smell like chicken, 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 chicken. She's full of piss and vinegar, boy. And she's she's blended really well. The only one that she struggled to bond with is Archer. It's because he's old and he's grumpy. But he's getting better. He has his days. He has his good days. Today's a good day. He's been he doesn't play with her, but he tolerates her. <laughs> so, all right, guys, love y'all. Hope you enjoyed that. Mwah.